Hi, this is Monty Dutton for GoLawrence.com and Go Clinic, and this is the third Lawrence County football report. The Raiders, Red Devils, Crusaders, and now Blue Hose are all in action. All four could use some good fortune. For some reason, that made me want to go to someplace cool and green and shady. And I found such a place at Horseshoe Falls on the banks of the Ennery River. On Friday night, Lawrence, 1-1, one one, is at home against Hillcrest, 2-0. Clinton, 0-2, is at Powdersville, 0-2. Lawrence Academy, 0-2, visits St. John's Christian Academy, 1-1. One one. On Saturday night, Presbyterian College, begins its 106th season of football with a game in Clarksville, Tennessee against Austin P. State University, 0-1. The governor spelled 45 nothing to Georgia last week, and I wouldn't hold that against them. They're coming off an 8-4 season and finish second in the Ohio Valley Conference. For the majority of the past 30 years, Lawrence and Hillcrest have been region rivals. Not this year. They remain close rivals, so close that two players who were with the Raiders last year are with the Rams now. The Raiders lead this series by a wide margin, 34-13-2, but the Rams have won four of the past five meetings. Myrtle Beach quarterback Luke Doty riddled the Raiders last week, and Lawrence needs to bounce back, get its running game going, and keep this game from blowing up in its face. The Raiders need a big night from bruising runner Dwayne Martin, who caught a 75-yard touchdown pass last week. When Clinton lines up against Powdersville for the first time in history, the Red Devils will be playing an opponent just as desperate for a victory. The Patriots, who are 12-2, and two, as recently as two years ago, have lost big in their first two games. Clinton head coach Andrew Webb doesn't think this game is about Powdersville. It's about getting his team's house in order. Like the other two teams in the county, the Red Devils have struggled defensively in general, and consistency has eluded them on offense. Clinton needs confidence. Clinton needs a break. Clinton needs a win. Things are tough all over. Todd Kirk is trying to hang in there with his seniorless Lawrence Academy Crusade, whose next crusade is to Monk's Corner to play St. John's Christian Academy. Buford Academy defeated LA 58 to nothing last week. The Cavaliers have a split in their first two games against schools Wardlaw and King the Crusaders will play later in the season. The game matches two able signal callers, L.A.'s Thomas Lowry and the Cavaliers' Nay Ryan Booker. It is likely, as is often the case in eight-man football, that copious points will be scored. Thanks for watching. This is Monty Dutton with GoLawrence.com and GoClinton.